What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody, what do you say? What do you know? It's a newly released product. Yeah. Maybe not release day. Yeah, pretty close, though. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Only at Grand Slam for getting this thing here the day after release. Uh, nice, fast shipping, always taking care of us. Uh, and then, so that's we, only at Grand Slam. Only at Grand Slam, yeah. That's the that's the it's it's the Grand Slam collectibles, I think, on YouTube. But yeah, their their okay. shop their shop I think is down in Louisiana. They're only at Grand Slam. Good stuff, good place. Uh, yeah. So uh, so we got the new sloth. If you guys watched the mail day, if you didn't, uh, welcome the new mascot. Uh, this is going to be Arthur Fonzarelli, aka Fonzi the sloth. <laughs> Uh, the reason we came, that Chuck mentioned it like right after the video yesterday, it was the first thing that came up and, and we just kind of liked it. There was a couple good, uh, recommendations, but, uh, uh, if, if you're, if you're our age, you watched a lot of happy days back in the day when you were a kid. Uh, and this guy came from Wisconsin, which is also where happy days was filmed and, and Fonzie was doing his thing. So, uh, yeah. has a nice ring to it. We're gonna go Fonzie, with kind of a little nod to uh, Fond du Lac, uh, Fonzie's hometown there. Right, and Wisconsin, yeah. So there you go. Uh, anything but a Green Bay Packer and we're good, right? So uh, here we go. Let's see what he does. Put a little juice on that Don Russ clearly. Oh, yeah. So we hit him <laughs> He's going to be good. <laughs> Where's the, what, when does the quick torque come? Oh, hey, oh, oh, there he is. Right on, <laughs> He's heating up. He's heating up. You got to give him time, Chuck. He's got to wear it, work into it, right? Like. <laughs> all right, all right. Awesome. Great job, Fonzie. Uh, right back there with his, little, with his little ink on his left cheek there. Uh, so here we go. So clearly Don Russ, 20 NFL trading cards. This was about... Uh, well, I got this. I, I bought it on pre-sale, so I, you know, and I, it's a little cheaper on on a Grand Slam. But I think they're going for about three fifty on release day, right? One auto, eight rated rookies, and then there's going to be eight base cards, and I think two inserts, uh, autograph rated rookie tribute cards, uh, rare insu inserts. Downtown's Gridiron Marvels and Night Moves are like one in every three case hits. Uh, one in every three yeah. Cases. I was reading. I was reading that the, the, the case hit is now a one in three cases. Yeah, but I, and I guess I wonder when I read it, what it, what it makes me wonder is, does that mean that there's a gridiron, a night moves, and a downtown in every case, or one of the three in every oh, case? Oh, but I don't know. Most people seem to say it's one in three cases. I just don't know how to interpret that, right? So uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. It doesn't really matter how many cases there is as long as there's one in this box. Right? So, yeah, I'll give you five bucks for the third rated rookie you pull. Uh, <laughs> uh, so 20 cards, 300 bucks. And Chuck offers me five. <laughs> five bucks for the third rated rookie. You can buy it back for ten if you if you if you like it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the whole get to buy it back thing. But I'm tired of buying paying double for oh. it. Uh, let's see. Four packs. Looking for a case hit. Uh, Fonzie's debut. Let's see. Uh, Fonzie's debut. See. Does he got some mojo? They look like a little uh, little little crinkled at the top there. Uh, four little thin packs, three hundred plus. Gonna need some fire. Uh, and it's down us clearly. So that tell me how my acetate jokes are gonna wear thin, really right. quick. Right, <laughs> just get one out of the way now, Chuck, and leave the rest alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, good looking cards. There's Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, right on the front. Uh, take a look at the back there. Uh, I haven't seen as many bad chips like you know, like you see in the Chronicles ones, right? Uh, here's a Gronk. Nice. And a Jonathan Taylor, not a rookie. Oh, and then we got him, Chuck. Oh, right I off the top. Should have went with the first rated rookie. Should have went with the first one. Justin Fields and Dwayne Eskridge. My man, right there. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I think Fonzie is already doing well if he's if he's calling in Justin Fields. <laughs> The clearly rated rookie again. I don't know if Panini's going to come out with retail of these and just smash the s s smash the value of a clear rated rookie, but uh, that's a good one. It doesn't matter because it's staying in my in my uh, PC anyway, right? There you so go. There we go. Now we got one out of the way, so the next one's a duplicate. 
Pack number one already making us happy. Uh, and then you got a Dwayne Eskridge here, rated rookie. I'm a little under the weather. My voice sounds funky. Uh, but, you know, the show must go on. <laughs> Is it flu-like symptoms? Or? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, something like that, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Okay, uh-oh, we got something in here. Uh, oh, what is that? Okay, so... Oh, Aaron, is that the third rated rookie? Aaron Donald. Brandon will be happy about that one. Kyler Murray. Uh, and that looks like Justin Herbert hiding back there. It is Kyler Murray. Base. And that's a dominant Kyler, or Justin Herbert. Very nice. Oh. Not numbered or anything, but just a dominant insert. Herbie's always welcome to the party. Uh, very good. Let's put him up there. So not doing too bad. Uh, what do we got here? Davis That's Mills. That's the third-rated rookie, Davis Mills. Davis oh. Mills and a Nico Collins. Uh, the Texans hot pack. <laughs> you got uh, a future number one quarterback and his future number one receiver, maybe. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. We'll look back on this video in a year and be like, man, that was those were the best hits ever. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, trying to be gentle with them. We, looks like we've got something else here. Oh, is this our auto? It Jeff, looks like it, yeah. Justin Jefferson. Nice. Getting all the – some good vets. So there's only 50 vets and 50 rookies in this set, uh, in the base set. So there's Lambjack. So you get the good – oh, and wouldn't you know it, Pat Fryermuth in every pack. Uh, literally just pulled this guy uh, out of contenders not too long ago. Uh, you do you do have quite the Pat Fryermuth autographed rookie card. Back. And I was watching Carolina Rippers rip theirs, and they pulled the same card. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's not the worst. You know, I mean, it could have been Cornell Powell. Uh, and so I still feel that way, but uh, that's a lot of Pat Fryermuth apparently. But yeah, nice on the clear. It's a nice clear rated rookie. We'll take it. Uh, again, I still believe could have been worse. And following it up with the man, the myth, the legend, Jamar Chase. Oh, that's a pretty nice box you got there, buddy. Yeah, it's not uh, not treating us bad at all. We'll take no. that. We'll take that. Now, I wonder if there's going to be a numbered one in here somewhere. Followed by uh, Kenne Nwangwu. Uh Kick return extraordinaire, and maybe something else this year. Who knows? Uh, last pack mojo. Come on, Are you Fonzie. guaranteed a numbered card, too? Uh, I, I don't know if it's guaranteed. There's supposed to be two parallels. I don't know if... I don't think any of those were a parallel, though. And I don't know why they would come in both packs, or one pack. Maybe that... Do, or maybe it's two inserts. Uh, Danny Dimes... Uh, Khalil Mack in a Bears uni. That's going to be one of the last cards of him in a, in a Bears jersey, I'm sure. <laughs> Another PC hit, though. That's good. And then what do we got here? Oh, there's there's the numbered card. And again, Aaron Donald out of 49. Looks like the red. There you go. That's so, not too shabby. Yeah, so Brandon got him two Aaron Donalds out of this pack. Uh, probably go down as one of the best defenders of his generation. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Maybe more. Uh, very cool. And then our last two rated rookies are going to be our fan favorite, Jacob Harris and Kenneth Gainwell. <laughs> there we go. Uh, had to get them at some point in the box. Uh, there you go. Tight end, Jacob Harris and a Kenneth Gainwell, who was kind of a gadget player last year, looked pretty good. So we'll see if Philly does anything good with him this year. Maybe he earns some more playing time. So there you go. Uh, that'll do it for Clearly Don Russ. Pretty good. We got our boy Justin Fields. Firemouth ain't bad. Uh, got some nice cards out of there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course, the price point, I think, is is better than others, but still not great. But, uh, uh, that reminds me. The SRP of those boxes, like what they were you know, what they were supposed to sell for or what they get them for a lot of is under $100, right? So uh, it's like $90 box. So... That's just the state of the hobby now, and I don't think it's going to change until 2022 stuff starts coming out, right? So, uh, but yeah, uh, thanks again, everybody, and we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.